Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to a new episode of Suelta la Lengua con Itati. I am your host, Itati Lopez. And on today's episode, tenemos uno de los guests que tanto le rogamos que estuviera aquí, pero pues siempre ocupado y siempre anda en sus propios rollos porque también tiene su propio podcast. Here we have Sebas from La Plática. Itati. Hey. Itati, Itati, Itati. What? I feel like we've been talking about this for so long. Desde el primer episodio que yeah. estuviste con Josh y, y pues yo. Uh -huh. Y uh, estoy muy emocionado de estar aquí. I mean, look at your studio. Thank look you. at how far you've already uh, come in such a short you. amount of time. Um, estoy muy emocionado de estar aquí. Gracias por invitarme. No, the honor is ours. La verdad que estoy muy feliz de que estés aquí. And I'm so excited to dive into so many topics. Because yeah. I feel like everyone sees you. Yeah. You're interviewing everyone and you're in the combo. But yeah. we don't... We want to know about Sebas. Yeah, no, no. A mí we me want encanta to know saber. everything yeah. about Sebas and, you, you know, just everything. Because I feel like now... Ahorita, como que este año, we're already almost in the middle, but you've done so much. So I want to go over it and just, you know, kind of talk about it. So I'm super excited. La Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm super, super excited. So tenemos aquí un little segment where we call Neighborhood Este okay. Chisme, donde I'm about to just give you some chisme, and mm -hmm. you're going to tell me, you're going to kind of react to it or see what lo que opinas. No sé si miraste en las noticias que allá en Bakersfield hubo un homeless que se estaba comiendo una pierna de un... Humano. Oh, I did not hear about that. You didn't. No. You're not from Bakersfield, right? No. Yeah, yeah. I know you're from Bakersfield. Okay. Yeah. So basically, there was a train that hit a girl. Oh my god. Um, and her body parts flew. Yeah, se explotó. Y él, un homeless guy, he se miraba como que no estaba bien. También, este, fue recogió el pie, recogió el, el pie y como si fuera una pierna de pollo. Hung se la comenzó a comer. He saw the opportunity. Dude, con la todo la respeto con yeah, la muchachita yeah. pobrecita. El pie todo colgado. He was oh walking with God. it on the street and just eating it. ¿Y alguien lo vio? Yes, they recorded him. This construction what? worker or some, I don't know, I think he was working. Yeah, he was the one recording. He was like, look, this guy just picked up a leg. He's eating it. Oh, my God. The leg was all like this, all floppy, todo. And, and then they called the cops, y los cops vino, and he was just walking. He didn't even know the cops. las noticias. Sí, lo viste tú. Yeah, I have the video. Oh my God. Why do I have the video? Because I follow this one channel. <laughs> I follow, like, what? Well, I follow this one Instagram. It's called Current Kind of Activities. Este, they post everything that happens yeah. in Bakersfield because too many things happen yeah. in Bakersfield. Y tenía la pata y lo arrestaron. Oh my God. Pero qué tal la pierna. Ya, bueno, imagínate la familia que, oh, where's my daughter? And she got hit. And Comiéndose este güey tiene la pierna. Dude, I don't know. But do I don't know if you've ever. That? Dude, I don't know if you've ever heard that a human supposedly tastes like pigs. No, but no? the only thing that I heard that we are compared to pigs are our eyes are almost the same. Mm -hmm. And que son bien inteligentes los pigs. Pero dicen que según algo, something that like we taste like pork. Oh. Isn't that weird? I don't know. I'm oh. getting some crazy ass no a comer menudo. What would you do if you seen someone eating a leg or an arm? I would have to, i probably go up to them and be like, let me ¿Y just. Y te agarran la mano y te la come? Nah, me lo chingo yo. Ah, nah. Pero I, I, I don't know what I would do. I would call the cops immediately. Yeah, I mean, 100%. that's something. I don't even know sure. if I'd have the power upon that recording him. I think I would be like, I'd throw up porque a mí como que sangre todo eso me yeah. hace como vomitar. Yeah. I don't think I could even call the cops. I'd be in shock. Like, that's fucking zombie shit. Bit. Yeah. Bitch of demonio, dude. But God damn. Yo How creo hungry do you have to be to do that? To sh look at the opportunity and be like, okay, I'll just eat it. I think that they just saw, miró la pierna y dijo, pues a comérmela. Oh my gosh. It's fucking scary, dude. Yeah. It's fucking insane. But He is a zombie. Anyways, we're going to dive right into lo que es Sebas. I wanted <laughs> to get off that out. I wanted to get that off That's my insane. I didn't know about that. I'm going to show you the video al ratito. Oh my God. I thought right now. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm ready. You want to see it right now? No, it's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll show it, it to Sebas oh. later. But Sebas, cuéntanos, ¿cómo estás? How do Bien. you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Pues bien, um, excited to be here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm literally just like sitting down and me estoy diciendo, wow, aquí estoy. Y Tati, una, una figura que eres tan grande. Oh, you're you're no, so inspirational you. to so thousands mm -hmm. and actually millions and millions of people. Thank you. Um, for me, for you to choose me to be here, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very privileged. Thank you. You know, muchas no, gracias. Es que no, pero you. todo está bien. It was just Easter's. Happy Easter's, everybody. Yeah. Um, estaba con mi familia y pues, no, you know. What I, did you guys do? Pues nada, ahí nomás estar en la casa y comer. Y, esconder eggs o hey, sea. Hey, para los niños y yeah. todo. Y pues andar ahí echándonos unas cervezas y Ay, carne asada. Bueno. Y pues, you know, the regular Dude, stuff. and you've been hella into fitness, huh? 
Yes, I try to be a little active. Yeah, yeah I so. see you on the bicicleta and yeah. chinga, andas andando yeah. al puro. How uh -huh. is that going? How'd you get into that? No sé. No me gusta correr tanto. Uh -huh. So I I know I have to tell myself like I have to do cardio. Uh -huh. Y pues, pues no, pues no más. Me gusta, siempre me ha gustado estar en bici. Uh -huh. Y me compré una bici y pues ahí ando nomás, a gusto. Uh -huh. Yeah. You also go and run. También se van a correr los marathons. I, I run. Y sabes qué? Pues mi marida, Karen, she, she, she just ran a marathon recently. Mm -hmm. And just being there y viendo a todos correr y todo el mundo emocionado que todo, like the people that are running the marathon are running. Mm -hmm. And everybody's faces y las caras que tienen los que corren. Yeah, and they're yeah. so excited. Si te animas mm -hmm. a echarte una. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, wow, this is so like motivating. It's yeah. really cool. And Um, but yeah, I just I just try to stay active, you know. Right. I, I try but to stay active. Me gusta hacer ejercicio mucho. But how is it that you stay motivated? I just because I feel like everybody. No más tengo una vida en este cuerpo, you know what I mean. So I just try to like take care of it as much as I can. But you do it every single day, una el gym todos los días, o no más cuando you're like. Yeah, every day I try to stay active, mm -hmm. except when I like drink the day before. I cannot get myself up to do something. Which you were talking about how hungover yeah. you were. Yeah, yeah, I was. I think I drank, um, you know, the buzz balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. La um, verde o la casi roja. La verde. Damn. Es que fui a Vallarta. Vallarta mm -hmm. es una tienda aquí en el valle que es mm -hmm. muy famosa, sí, una tienda mexicana bien yeah. suave um, for people who don't know mm -hmm. y ahí tenían una de la grandota dije yeah. chinga su madre pues deja deja llevar una <laughs> a la casa no me ching yo y mi amigo me nos chingamos casi la, la mitad de, it looks like a light bulb yeah, yeah, de yeah. la bolita uh -huh. I kid you not I started spinning so bad yo soy uno que puede tomar todo el día va, va, cuando tomo todo uh -huh. el día okay. no me vomito like I don't ever throw up just tipsy like you just get to like the I, I just get if, if, if anything happens I'll just get drunk and then uh -huh. I'll just pass out okay you know I never pero get I ne no drunk, I never like me empedo pero I never get dizzy and oh, stuff okay. like that you know when you start getting the spins you're like oh you I don't feel good everything's like this no con el pinche buzz ball I'll never drink it like that again no never say never but no I'm good I'm <laughs> good that buzz ball has too much sugar what about the next day you woke up with a headache huh yeah with a headache you feel like your body is just trying to like Get hydrated. everything out. Oh, I just felt like shit. You like tequila or whiskey better? Me gustan los dos. ¿Sí? Me gustan los dos. I, I tend to drink more tequila when I'm out with friends. Okay. Um And, uh, yeah, but I, I feel like normally now I just really, I don't want to because mm -hmm. beer gives me like a beer belly and it makes yeah. me feel bloated. Mm -hmm. But I tend to drink more beer porque con la cerveza ando más tranquilo. You want to drink more beer? I try to drink beer now when I drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now it's like I try to stay away too much from tequila porque ya me pega más diferente que como andaba más morro. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, before te tequila, 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 tequila. Sí, and sí. now I'll drink two tequilas and I'm like, what happened last night? You know? Okay. And like I feel like I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. I get anxiety. I, you know, you feel like yes. estás culpable de algo. Dude, like, that's so... It's, it's so it's crazy. Horrible. La primera que yo miré that was talking about that was una de la Mario twins. I don't remember who. She was on live and like she was crying because she was like, I don't like getting drunk because the next day I wake up with like anxiety and I feel like I did something. Yeah. Or, I didn't know that was so common until. It's called anxiety. I don't like that feeling. Me neither. It's horrible. Yeah. Te empedas and then the next day you wake up super early y amaneces toda arrepentida. Yeah. And you, you're just like, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if it's like my age now, like, uh -huh. but once I hit like. My late 20s, my early 30s, mm -hmm. I was like, I can't be doing this. Yeah, I'm too dude. old for this. No, I need seriously. to like have a better life. You know what I mean? Change it up. Yeah. Gusto. What would you say is your number one beer and your number one tequila? Oh, that's a good question. Um, pues no sé, pues me gustan muchas tequilas y muchos, muchos tequilas como artesanales y todos, mm -hmm. pero I tend to always buy like 70, Don Julio, Don Julio ah, 70, like, uh -huh. because I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I feel like a lot of people like it. Mm -hmm. Y todo el mundo nunca dice nada. Oh, no me gusta ese. Yeah. You know, just like a 70. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say 70, general. And then, uh, pues también me gusta um, de cerveza. No sé, me encantan las... Um, White Claws. No, de cerveza. No, I'm not a big seltzer guy. Me gusta la modelo negra. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I don't like if I'm going to go uh -huh. to the store y uh -huh. voy a comprar una cerveza, me compro un That's seis de negras. Yeah. Really? Yeah. O si no, como las ultras. 
Oh, those are good. Because con las ultras, pues puedes tomar todo el día, you know, y no, yeah. no, no, no te sientes tan mal. I think it's just better to drink a beer like in a concert or something porque la pinche miadera. Uno tiene que ir yeah. al baño y al baño y al baño. Yeah, yeah. when once you break problem. the seal, like if you're a guy and you yeah. break the seal, mm -hmm. tienes que ir every like 10 minutes. Like we were just at the Pepe Aguilar concert, uh -huh. which was amazing, by the way. Uh -huh. um, y me estaba chingando chelas. And the first piss that I took, Every 10 minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. And it's hard when you're at a concert porque quieres escuchar las rolas. Exactly. But at least the guys' restrooms aren't packed like the girls. Yeah. Because the girl lines are fucking long and it's yeah. the point. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And the guy nomás, vámonos And ahí. I feel bad too when like the girls have to wait so long. I don't know why. Well, maybe if they have like chorro or something. But why like, is it that girls take longer to go to is it the whole sit down thing or what? No. Okay, from my experience, I literally just go to the restroom, I pee, and get up, get up. and wash your hands, and let's go. But I think that, I don't know, it's because it's for different situations. Maybe they could be on their, you know, monthly cycle, oh, or yeah. maybe tienen diarrhea, or yeah. chorro, or maybe they need to throw up, yeah. or maybe, you know, with girls, there's, like, other situations. Yeah. Pero, so I wonder that, too, like, ¿por qué siempre la línea está larga yeah. de las girls? Yeah, like, But it's also like even at Disneyland. But it's also like not the Disneyland. Yeah, like Disneyland, the women's line is always way longer than yeah. the guys. Yeah, and I feel like probably I don't know. It's because girls like to hang out in the restrooms. Yeah, they do. Do guys hang out ready. in the restrooms? Like no. they like talk or like you just go in and out. Just in and out. Just yeah. Oh yeah, Wash I have a question. Do you get ever embarrassed like peeing next to a guy? Like like no, in the but there's definitely bro code. Like yeah. for example, most I of the urinals, never. yeah, most of the urinals are always odd numbers. Uh -huh. So say there's five, mm -hmm. you know, if there's five urinals, mm -hmm. and then like the one on the right is taken, the one on the left is taken, mm -hmm. and then there's gonna be one in the middle. Okay. You go to the middle one. You don't go to the one next to the guy. Okay. Yeah, but if they're all taken, if they're all taken, so if uh -huh. no, honestly, like. Like, you, what do you, you kind of want to break the ice too, because I'll, I'll go in the urinal next to another guy and be like, "Hey, what's up, man?" No, you That's don't. It. Yeah, you don't look really? at his pee pee. No, obviously not. But like, I know that. But like, I thought that guys go pee and they're just like looking down. Like, what the fuck? You're gonna go convert? Come no, and then now there's urinals que tienen la como como la la barda, the mm -hmm. little wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. But some don't. Like, if you go to Dodger Stadium, it's like, or was it Dodger Stadium? Wait. The urinals, it's like a huge one. O como en México. Ajá, ajá. Tienen, like, the big, it looks like a huge urinal. Y caben como 20 vatos ahí. Y tienen el hielo y todo. Ajá, ajá. So right there, like, fuck it. It's, honestly, I think it's more weird if you no. don't go up to a guy and pee next to him. Because then it's like, why are you acting weird? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just pee. Okay. You know? But I, I, there is people that probably, you know, have a little glance. Not me. <laughs> Not me, but I'm sure there is. No, probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, but I just that doesn't that, make them like, you I know. feel like if I was born a guy and, you know, I had like the camote and everything, I had to go pee, you know, like <laughs> I would go into the stalls. What do you mean pee. the camote? What do you mean camote? Oh, the camote. What's that? Like your weenie? Yeah, the weenie. If I oh, had the I weenie never heard and I was like that. camote and I had to pee like, fuck that, go into the stalls. Wait, so guys know when you're going to shit well, because the, you have to yeah, go to well, the stalls? Yeah, well, there's a respect thing, you know, like. If the bathroom's completely solo, like if you go to Target, there's not gonna be that much people in the in the bathroom. Oh my god, I just thought about that. So right like, now. sure, I'll go take a piss in the toilet instead of a urinal, you know. Okay. Or if there's one person already at the urinal, I'll do the toilet. But if it's packed, you respect the toilet for the fools that need to take a shit. You guys have a lot of rules for the restroom. It's all broken. I'm just going in there and sitting down. I'm if honestly, it's all respect. But yeah, if there's like somebody on a urinal well, yeah. and that's the only urinal mm -hmm. that I, that that I can do, I'm gonna go pee and no pedo. And sometimes you have a conversation with them. While but if it's solo and yeah. then there's one guy like peeing. Yeah. You don't go next to that guy. And oh, then no. when there's other ones available, that's a little weird, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't that's think it's weird if somebody wants to take a yeah, piss next to Yeah, because even me. at clubs, like now that I'm going, like even the girls see that the line is too long and they go into the, gr the, gr the guy's restroom. They're like, fuck this line. I'm going to go yeah, over there. Yeah, I respect there. that. Like the little porta potties and stuff. Yeah, I'm no, like they go oh, into the yeah, guy's yeah, restroom. Yeah. Yeah. Vamonos a mier pa yeah, that's fucking insane, yeah. dude. I respect well, that. I just think that I will never understand why. Like, I think it's for guys, you're exposed in the restroom. They know when you're going to go cagar because you're going straight into oh, the yeah. stall. If you're going to pee, you're just going to pee in the. In the yeah. Oh, because so with the, the girl, it's, they don't know if you're going to go If you're going to pee, pee or poop. your poop, you're going in there. I can't poop in public. I got to poop. Can't? I only my house. I, I can't poop in public either. I can't. Unless I really have to. No, I can't. Like, Pero I can't. Me da tanta vergüenza soltar un pinche pedo enfrente de alguien. Dude, Whether normal. guy or girl. No, no, no. But like even I've been with my wife for about 
13, 14 years, and I still haven't taken a shit in front of her. That's not true. I, itati, I swear to you, yo no cago en frente de ella. No te yo no me pedo. echo pedos en frente. No. ¿Me ha soltado un pedo? Sure, maybe. Okay. Pero nunca al propósito. Never. Really? Yeah, no, a mí no me gusta eso. What, why? Why? What? Se me hace... I, I think it's gross. I don't yeah, want to yeah. gross out my partner. Oh, for and sure. I'm not, and, and by the way, everybody back at home, si te sueltas pedos con tu pareja... Good for you. That's no, amazing. Sí, I don't think it's. I don't, yeah, pues. I don't think it's a make yeah. or break. Yeah, yeah. Será que me, I don't. I don't. You've never said that. Salido un pinche pedo bien fuerte que hasta la Karen dijo inga a su madre el Sebas. Se me ha salido uno, yes. Pero de Pero que lo hagas, no. Yo que así como yo tengo no. compas de que. Hey, babe, you want to hear something? And then the girl will be like, yeah, toma, pinche oh, pelota no, no, que se echa. No. And even they'll cover each other with a blanket just for like, ha, ha, ha. Fuck. You know, I can't do that. No, I wouldn't do that either. Yeah, I can't do that. No, no dude, pero no yo, no, yo no cago no. en frente, yo no me echo pedos. I don't know, maybe my mom, you know, kind of embedded that in me, you know? Yeah, kind of. Dude, she talking about your, this is like going to be a crazy, but talking about your mom, you, I saw your story, you guys are going to go to New York. Yes, it's. Uh, you guys travel a lot, huh? You well, I mean, I travel with my wife pretty uh -huh. frequently. Um, my mom travels a lot, but more to like Guadalajara. Okay. Um, but it's special to me because uh, about two years ago, my my youngest sister, who is mm -hmm. now I think twenty four, twenty five years old, oh, she okay. got a brain aneurysm, oh, and okay. and it, it really messed her up. But thank uh -huh. God she's great and and she's doing so good. If and, you don't mind me asking, es que no sé la verdad yeah. que es lo, I don't know what that is. Like a brain aneurysm. I, I don't, um, honestly. Basically, in short terms, like you, it can happen mi in many ways, but she has something called a AVM, I believe it's called. Sorry if I'm mm. not saying it right, but. Pero es como un ataque, or, or? No, it's oh. basically, sh it's, it's some, some people are born with it, and it's basically like a ticking time bomb. Okay. Um, and it's like blood vessels in your brain mm -hmm. that, well, her situation was blood vessels in her brain that mm. were tangled up. Like desde chiquita. Oh. So it's oh. basically like a ticking time bomb. So those blood vessels popped, causing your brain to kind of like rupture. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because in your skull, mm -hmm. it's not like you, it's like if you have something pop in your, your arm or uh -huh. your leg, you might swell up. You know, it, the, it creates swelling. Yes. Well, in your skull, it, you can't really create swelling because it's a, it's a hard ass a bone. Shell. It's a shell. Yeah. So it just causes pressure to the brain. Oh, damn. So uh, oh, that yeah. happened to her. Uh -huh. So she had to go into surgery. She was in a coma for about a day or two. No way. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was, God, it was so bad. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. She's great now, you She's know. Fine. But yeah, it was hard. It was oh. really hard. And, you know, there's so many people that, that their families, they, they go through stuff like this. And she lives over there. In so, yeah, long story short, she, you know, she's... I guess technically she's still recovering, but she, if, you, if you meet my sister, she looks... 100% fine. fine. Gracias, Good. A Dios. Gracias a Dios. And uh, so, you know, her and her boyfriend moved to New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, so every year on the 11th of April, we try to do something for my sister because it's kind of like her reborn day. That's you the know, day of like the surgery. The, that's the day that it happened to her. Oh, that it happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, dude. so like I said, so that happened to her and they had to remove a little bit of her brain. She had to shave her head. It was really hard. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like I said, thank God she's she's okay. And yeah. honestly, it was almost like a you know a miracle. You know, and we were we're very a lucky. Life, That's yeah. All, and you guys are gonna go and visit her. So now that she lives in New York, um, I'm taking my parents. Yeah, and they've never been to New York. So never. my mother is an, uh, was born in Mexico. Mm -hmm. My dad was born here in LA. Mm -hmm. um, but they've never traveled outside, like going that way. I mean, they've been to like, say, like Oregon or Seattle, Pero pa la here. Otra punta. But to New York, they've never gone. So it's Damn. just gonna be me, my parents, and we're gonna go visit my sister. Oh, dude. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be. Uh, That's gonna be awesome. Memorable. Is it just you and your sister? No, it's five of us. It's no I'm way. the oldest of five. Yeah. Oh shit. So it's okay. me, um, Alejandra, Brandon. I have a brother. Uh huh. Um, uh, my sister Paulina. Uh huh. And then uh, the the youngest one, which we're gonna go visit. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah. yeah. Damn. So I can't wait to like show That's them around, awesome. see the city. You've been there before? Yeah, many times, oh, okay. and it's just insanely amazing. What, what part in specific? Or in New York? Uh huh. New York, New York. Yeah, New York, like Manhattan, like everything. Oh, okay. Lower East Side. I think she lives like in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. So we're gonna be like all around. ¿Cuántos días van a ir más o menos? Como unos cuatro. 
Ah, qué bueno. Yeah. That's freaking so awesome. So I can't wait. Yeah. And then they're so excited. Because I, a lot of people know this, but like this year, and I always say it every year, but this year I'm really trying to make it a point mm -hmm. to be with my family more, Good. to, you know, no gastar dinero en tantas pendejadas and just waste it more on them or, mm -hmm. you know, travel with them, you know, because... And, and... I want to ask this because I want to see your opinion on it. When you talk about traveling and going with your family, how does that, for example, there's a lot of couples that maybe they're like, oh, I don't know. They seem to have an issue with like, oh, you're always with, not necessarily always with your family, but there's may maybe sometimes where they're like, no, like it's not a good idea. Like how is the bond with your wife and your family? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Um, fortunately for me, mm -hmm. uh, Karen loves it. Oh, I can't um, wait. She's cool. My family adores Karen. Good. And um, it's good. But yeah, definitely there's some families or some parejas mm -hmm. that are kind of no like, why, yeah, like, why are you always with your family or blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. To me, I think that's wrong. Yeah. You know, that's kind 100%. of a red flag. Um, unless they have their own, like, you know. Reasons. Reasons or issues. I mean, maybe if my mom was like a dick to my wife or I have a tia that doesn't like her or they make her feel uncomfortable, then it's my job to understand that, you know? That's good. Um, Take notes. This is literally good because there's a lot of guys that don't... Are you jealous? Are you a very jealous type when it comes to like... Like um, like family or like No, no, no. In like general, are you no. relationship-wise? Mm -mm. Do you understand what her job is the same way that she knows what your job is? Like you yeah. guys respect each other's grind and you guys are there for yeah. each other always? A 100%. Dude, I was looking at a video the other day of like... There was someone in particular where they were talking about how like their partner doesn't support what they do. And I'm like, I don't really think a relationship works if partners don't support each other. Yeah, you got to support each other. Each trust side. each like, other. They normally say like 50-50, but it should be 100 each yeah, side. Yeah, because you need to like, that's your partner. And yeah. it's it's what you said right now. Like, if my tia doesn't like my partner, that's why you're there to see what's going on or to yeah. fix the issue or see, yeah. you know, what's yeah. going on. Uh -huh. So you're doing your part. Porque hay veces that hay hombres que dicen... Oh, my dad doesn't like you. Well, I can't do nothing about it, you know? like. Yeah, and a lot of people, like, for example, if I had a tia that didn't like Karen, right, mm -hmm. or would make her feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. I would have some sort of, no, it's okay. It's just my family, you know? Like, exactly. deal, deal with it. Mm -hmm. But it's hard for somebody when it is your, because if it's my tia, that means it's kind of my fault, right? Or, you know, it's related to me. So mm -hmm. I should fix it. Yeah. But we tend to always be like, no, it's like, since it's like part of my family, mm -hmm. I don't want to like fix it. I just kind of want to leave it and then just suck it up. Exactly. But I think it's, we should, you know, get out of our comfort zone, even if it is family, you mm -hmm. know, because sometimes not all the family members are great. You know what I mean? So it's I'm my sure job no. to understand that, you know, if, if, she, if she had a, uncle or tia that i didn't really fuck with for mm. whatever reason you know it's it's, it's 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 her job to to understand that and 100%. understand my feelings you know because you can only do so much yeah you know and, and like you said if there's someone that maybe just doesn't like her in general well there's sometimes yeah. nothing that you could really but do. that's why relationships are so hard not they just are. because of like you've been, you've been with her for 12 years not 13 years 12 like 13 14 damn that's dude. Uh, those mil diez, so and how have you as the almost, man I don't know, like, kept that relationship or how did you guys, how are you guys still going? Which I'm very happy for you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pues honestamente, no, muy, muy nunca es fácil, Porque you know what I mean? Like, relación. don't think that, oh my God, Sebas and Karen, they're mm -hmm. like fucking the perfect couple, you mm -hmm. know? I don't think that the perfect couple really exists either. Mm -hmm. Like, we all, I think if you, you know, it's normal. you go Todos through, yeah. Go through everything. Maybe some things que no le gustó a uno. Yeah. Or, you know, it's all normal part of the process, but how do you still maintain your relationship with her? Yeah, just... Communicating. Commun uh, yeah, you know, oh, oh, the answer always is kind of like communication is key, which it is. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's just daily, weekly reminders of, hey, I have a wife. Hey, I have a girlfriend. Hey, I have a fiance. Yeah. Um, what can I do this week to make her feel a certain way? Yeah. Well, what can I do this week to... To let her know simply that mm -hmm. I'm here for her. 100%. You know, what do I do today to make her feel like, you know, like we all go through stuff and sometimes we don't talk about it. But like, say, I don't know, my wife is going through a day where she feels, you know, lonely. Yeah. You know, how is it my job to make her feel not lonely today? Um, reinvent myself, you know, mold myself to her needs, you know. Mm -hmm. And I always say, like, 
in a relationship, you have to mold yourself to your partner. Hell yeah. If you really, really like them slash love them, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not saying completely mm -hmm. change who you are because yeah. that's not the if you're going to change who you are, that's not the person for you. No. But, you know, nobody's the same. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Or for example, you know, I've been with Karen for so long where it's like. I'll have a conversation like, hey, babe, we need to like this month. We should focus on like redating. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? Like, let's let, let's do some new shit. You uh -huh. know, let's be off our phones. Let's go on little cheesy ass dates, you know, to, to do something different. Uh -huh. Because it's not easy being with somebody for the rest of your life. You know, I'm sure it's not like good. there's I, there's uh -huh. a lot of things that can go on, whether it be mentally um, outside of your own relationship mm -hmm. with other family and stuff like that, mm -hmm. or just just regular life shit. So I think it's cool to always just just remind yourself, and that goes with the other partner as well. Remind yourself, what can I do? What can you do? You to know, make because sure what happens is we get comfortable. Yeah, I sta. You know, mm -hmm. ah, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, I don't have to talk to her all day because I live with her. Yeah, you know, and I'm I'm still like guilty of that too. Like I mean, you know, sometimes like oh shit, maybe I, today or last week I was mas callado or maybe i was working too much or mm -hmm. you know maybe i was being mean or whatever but mm -hmm. that's normal but as if you can remind yourself and you know let your partner know que andas, you know that you're with that someone i'm here and yeah you know you know i'm here for you that's good just little things because at mentality. the end of the day it is a little things that count yeah. no and i've i've seen sebas and karen since i was oof i told sebas and karen the first time i met them dude i've seen you guys since i was like 12 I have a that's cousin crazy. that's like that obsessed with Karen. Like, and the fact that I know them and I like yeah. Sebas is here, like to me, it trips me out because it's like, they're just how they are in person in person. Like they're such humble, amazing down to earth people. Ocupas algo, están allí al pendiente de ti. When I first met Karen, it's like, if I knew her already, like Itati, how are you? This and that. And like yeah. me hearing her say Itati, like I was like, oh shit. When I first went to La Platica and I saw Sebas, I was so nervous because I've seen you guys since like, oof, you know? Yeah. But you guys have such a beautiful relationship. And Thank I love you. how you guys literally portray that percentage of it. Because I'm sure 100% no, pues obviamente uno enseña lo que uno quiere, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. But you guys have such a beautiful relationship. Thank you. Y la neta, that wedding hermosísimo yeah. Sebas Thank you. Thank when you. was it last year it was last year no last June and it was in like yeah, fucking covers dude covers y todo yeah Karen was on uh, Brides Magazine no I didn't even know what that was until like a month before she knew dude. and I guess it's like a huge deal how I was, was like it, wow good for you babe. how was it you being the man getting married like how was that pressure on you uh you weren't nervous or like I, I, yeah, yeah, I was nervous. Yeah. You know, like even like days before I was mm -hmm. like, ah, you know, whatever. Like, let's just have fun, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But no, a lot goes into it, you know. Yeah. A lot does go into the wedding. And, you know, my job was just to be there for my wife, you know. Que bueno. And you before before dating Karen, before everything, el Sebas de antes. Fuck. Tell me, how who what did you do antes de todo esto? Lo que es el podcast y todo, todo. <clears throat> Little Sebas. Little Sebas, well, fuck, I think, I mean, ya tengo 33 años, ya voy a cumplir los 34 en mayo, mm -hmm. y cuando yo estuve con Karen, ya tenía 18, 19 años, 19 años, Oh, creo. really? Yeah. Oh, damn, so, so I think we're going to talk about, like, 18-year-old Sebas, you know? Ajá. Uh -huh. um, pues nada, un pinche chamaco que... Rebel? Pues dos, tres, no Travieso. tanto, no tanto, no, no, I, I wouldn't say, y si travesuras, pero... Con respeto. You know okay. what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, I was never really into trouble. Yo respetaba a mi mamá y mi papá mucho. So, and then mm -hmm. being the oldest in my family, también no quise dar el ejemplo que yeah. this is what you should do or blah, blah. Pero nada, valía madre. Yeah. I was 18, yeah. What, what did um, you like doing? But I was just a normal 18-year-old, you know? Like, fiestas uh -huh. y fumaba mucho. Y, Damn. Yeah, uh -huh. y, y pues nada, siempre trabajar, siempre trabajando. What were you working? I was always working. I think at 18 years old, vendía carros at Volkswagen, and then I worked at Hollister at the same time. Really? Yeah. Oh, and shit. then right before that, I remember my favorite job was Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. I was working at Jack in the Box at 17. Siempre comías Jack in the Box cuando ahí tú trabajabas. Yeah, that's ¿Qué te gustaba comer? Todo. Todo. I'm a big Jack in the Box. But the top number one. So we're almost a Jack in the Box. What are you going to order? And number six. What's the number six? Ultimate cheeseburger. Oh, shit. Yeah. With tomato? With tomato. Yeah. Oh, hell no. No, <laughs> hell no. Yeah, and then I get you have to have tacos. <laughs> like your Jack in the Box meal has to have tacos. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, like a Dr. Pepper. Are you guys a very close family? You with all your siblings and your parents? Yeah, we're close. Yeah. yeah? yeah. You guys are always together. Siempre, well, and not like that, but I mean, siempre tienen como, por ejemplo, un group chat or siempre comunicando. Yeah, siempre we have juntos. a group chat. Um, we definitely have a group chat. Um, we, yeah, we talk basically every day. Yeah? Yeah, Qué we bueno. talk every day. Así que, pues ya estamos, ya todos. My mom had us kind of back to back. So mm -hmm. the youngest one that lives in New York, ya tiene como 20... Cinco años, creo. Let's just put it. I think she's mm -hmm. 25. And then the rest are like 25, 28, 29, 30, 33. Oh, shit. Yeah. Un so we're all, we're all close. Uh -huh. So ya muchos de nosotros ya tenemos, pues todos tenemos nuestra vida. Y... Ya todos tienen su, cada quien se agarró su lado. Yeah. So it's cool. But like I said, it, sometimes it's hard because, you know, I live over here in the valley and they live more like by downtown or mm -hmm. south of downtown, you know, and then my other brother lives over here. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, but I think it's muy importante tener familia and, you know, remind ourselves que hay que juntarnos, you 100%, know? 100% yeah, yeah, para porque, siempre estar juntos y yeah, porque, not break that bond more than anything. No, porque the older I get, the older they get, you 100%. know? And, you know, I really, you really got to think about that. Porque and al fin del día nomás tienes tu familia. Y ellos no les gusta, o no están metidos ellos a las redes? It's just more yeah, they, yeah, all my sisters and my brothers, they have social media, maybe uh -huh. not to a point where like maybe caring to myself do it no but, but digo like um they're not in it as well yeah like they're not in it as como influencer and stuff like that así que digas que es su trabajo de ellos pues no career. no tanto pero uh -huh. fíjate que si sí tienen sus, sus miles de seguidores yeah. cada, cada uno bueno. yo creo uh -huh. so, bueno. and then my mom not too much but ella siempre anda metida ella anda metida yeah, en el chismosa. todo and how is it with you with social media what's the positive side of it and the negative side of you being on social I mean, media the positive side of social media, I mean, we've been in it for for so long already. You know, you were saying that since, since you were yeah. 12 years old. Yeah. So, you know, it's cool. I mean, let's just talk about the great stuff. I mean, uh, people pay 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 us very well to, to do things that we love to do. Let's just be real. Yeah. It does. Um, but it takes a lot of sacrifice to get to this point. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of hard work. Um, a lot of... It's hard because everybody who you see who's great on social media, like yourself. Thank you. You do it all yourself. You put all that pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You didn't procrastinate. You te pusiste los, te, te agarraste los huevos and you said, let's do this, let's you know? Let's get it done. And by yourself, you know, you didn't have a boss or mm -hmm. somebody helping you or somebody editing your videos. Yeah. You learned to create this, this, this persona by yourself. 100%. So a lot of people think, you know, they'd go up to me and be like, hey, you know, I kind of want to do what you guys do. Like, what kind of cameras do I buy? And, you know, that's cool. I, I want everybody to do it. Yeah, you know, pero 100%. no es fácil. You don't just buy a camera and do it. No. It's mucho más. You know what? I didn't know about the whole, like, production and, like, a podcast. So even I noticed in, like, your podcast, when I, when me invitaron, it's not just a camera, y headphones, and let's do it. No. We're talking about a whole ass production. Yeah. Gables, que Tell you have them. to have a rundown. Yeah. You got to know what's going on. You got to know yeah. what you're going to talk about. Like, it's it's not just like, turn on the camera y vámonos. Yeah. You got to have some yeah. knowledge into it. Now you're talking about, you guys also have three cameras, no? Three angles. Yeah, for the most part, three, sometimes four, depende, sometimes five. Pero you know? tú antes los editabas todos, no? Todos sí. los videos. Yo antes, eh. And yo. How, did, how was that? Pues es mucho. Three angles, huh? Es mucho. So social media is a lot, you know? It's not just what you see on social media. Mm -hmm. You have to film it. You have to have the equipment. You have to learn and educate yourself on how to edit. Yeah. Edit in a certain way that makes you special. Dude, you know? Um, but not only that, tener una... Por ejemplo, a la gente yo creo que le gusta mi personalidad, mm -hmm. la personalidad de Karen... Tu personalidad is mm -hmm. insane, you know what I mean? Por eso tanta gente te quiere, you know? So it's uh -huh. like, that personality is, you don't just, I sometimes, like, obviously we're born with it and we, we do it, mm -hmm. pero unas veces no me da ganas de hablar. Really? You know, no. Una oh, vez well, it's I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't wake up and it's, be like, yeah. ah, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, 100%. So yeah. it's, it's hard to motivate your own self, you it know, is. to work from home, you Hell know, it's yeah. hard, so... It's really hard to, you know, to create, you know. And it's like, we're working 24 hours. Yeah, but like I said, at the end, I don't and want it's people. Fun. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's not something que uno se queja. Because no. we love to do yeah. this. I love to do this. He loves to do this. Josh loves to do it. Yeah. All of us love to yeah. do this. Because it's something we love to do. No es yeah. algo de que nos quejamos. Yeah. Porque, ah, we don't like it. No. Those hours, the 24 hours where we're working, it vale la pena because yeah. it's what we love. Yeah, because like I said, mm -hmm. mucha gente que maybe no me conoce, conoce tanto, mm -hmm. 
yo ya he trabajado de landscaping, construcción, uh -huh. vendía carros, I work at warehouses, forklifts, en tiendas, restaurantes. You name it, I've done it. Really? Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've, se I've seen it all, I've done it all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now that I thank God I'm in a position where, you know, I can wake up and do something that I like to do, mm -hmm. you know, I'm blessed. I'm blessed and I'm blessed to meet people like yourselves, like mm -hmm. people that are like yeah. staring at us right now, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Uh, you know, like, for example, uh, my producer, Jessica, I'm blessed to meet her. She's helping me with my life, you mm -hmm. know, and I get to meet people like that, that can yeah. elevate. We can all elevate each other. Um, and uh, yeah, it's good. I, I love social media. I love being on it. And I love, you know, it's it's brought me and my family a lot of pleasure. Hell yeah. Um, 100%. So I would never let that go. But yeah, there's nothing bad to say about it. I think that you guys both you and your wife have something in you because you guys have been in this industry for more than i think 10 years hey, no hey, probably vamos. like uh, con más, ya van a los diez años yeah. and you're still there o sea you and karen are still there up yeah. there yeah how the hell do you guys still maintain where you are right now because hay gente you know how there's gente que nos van de pasada yeah. y luego ya Yeah, or they stay, like, in a, yeah. in a neutral area. But you guys, like, right now, ahorita, están en lo mero fitness. La like Karen me motiva a mí correr, pero nomás no quiero correr. <laughs> I don't want to run, but I see her, y la miro con, cuando le dan como su awards and everything. Yeah, it's or cool. I, or it's me awesome. and Edgar see you, like, in the bike, and we're like, damn, like, why the fuck can't we do this? <laughs> how do you manage your day with so much that uh, you want to do? Like, uh, how is it that you do all uh, the stuff you want to do, and apart from that work and family and... yeah. How? Yeah. Karen, she she's great. Yeah. Um, she's a superhuman and mm -hmm. she's been like that for such a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna say like, oh, she started doing that. No. Mm -hmm. She's always been into working out. She's always been into creating content. She's the queen. Mm -hmm. Um myself, I've always been into everything like that. Um, it's e it's it's definitely easier when you have a partner that does it. Because mm -hmm. I think if Karen lo loved to wake up late and you know, go have breakfast somewhere and then, you know, go watch a movie and create content on between. I'd probably be doing that too, you yeah. know. It's, it def she definitely helps me out and inspires me to be a better person myself. Pero también a mí me gusta. Yeah. Like, it's, it's good. Um, I don't know. I think maybe because we've been doing it for so long. Um, ¿Quieres otro outlet? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Porque yo, a mí no me gusta siempre andar en mi teléfono, siempre estar en social media. Yeah. Me gusta vivir, me gusta estar Explore en el mundo, explorar y estar con mi familia. Y, mm -hmm. y pues cosas así, pues a mí siempre me ha gustado eso. Yo soy Good. muy como espiritual y, yeah. y a mí me gusta uh -huh. como like estar yoga. manejando y obviamente ver los carros y manejar bien, pero me gusta ver las pinches montañas y el sol y me fascina uh -huh. todo eso. Sí, no, me no, encanta. No, 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 I no, 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 me gustan los carros, me encantan. No, hombre, tiene una troconota allá afuera <laughs> que esa me atropella y no, hombre, va, vale. Yeah. I see you're into what cars do you have right now? La, el, tienes un BMW, yeah, ¿no? Yeah, I have two, like, BMWs. Y el Raptor. I have a truck, yeah. Bro, my fiance wants that Raptor, pero no. Que se lo compres. No, es que, birthday. es que, tan Edgar, caras esas back. pinches trocas. Yeah, Hell the, no. I've never had a truck before either. And no, you're more of a car guy? I'm more of like a two-door sports kind of car guy. Okay. Or like an SUV. Uh -huh. But mi primera troca y ando enamorado. Dude, ese carro también bajito, ¿ah? Huh? El que tienes. Del otro, ya. Yeah. Y no te da miedo que un día de eso un pinche tope le vaya a volar el yes, bumper de frente. Yes, yes. Sí, sí, sí me da miedo, pero I have airbags on the cars. What do you mean? On the so, inside? So, like, I have, like, a little remote control in my cars. Ah. Uh -huh. That they have, like, um, kind of like presets. So basically, like, if I want my car to be a certain ride height, ahí lo dejo, and there's a button. And if I want my car to go, it goes all the way up. What the hell? Yeah. Like a lowrider almost? Yeah, but not like hydraulics where lowriders go. Sí. Imagine <laughs> Seba's on Sergo <laughs> like this. I do want a lowrider. Yeah. I do. That's my next one. Uh -huh. But no, they just like. Okay, for like the topes and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, but the thing is, is that having your car like that, I, I'm, I always got to be like aware. No, con la troca, I'm just like driving. Vamos I don't give a fuck. atropellando todo. Yeah. Vamos en putiza. No, pero con los carritos, I really have to pay attention. Like, si hay un tope, pues levanto el carro. Damn, te tienes que, you're like that car that has yeah, to go on the side like of the yeah. bumper. Damn, uh -huh. dude. Yeah, the gray, it's como gray o como un 
no como azul, huh? uh, no, Los no, otros carros? No, the, the low one. Yeah, so well, they're both low. One's red and one's black. Which is the one that always comes here? I think it's a black one, actually. Yeah, black. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, going into La Plática. You, so tell me about La Plática. What, whose idea was it to start La Plática? Uh, well, yeah, technically it was, it was my idea. Uh -huh. um, and just kind of like to go back to what you were saying, that como yo y Karen, can we be so relevant still? Y pues mm -hmm. tanta gente nos quiere. I think, A, it's because we love people who follow us and, you know, our family. Mm -hmm. We are obsessed with everybody who we talk to and mm -hmm. we can inspire, you know, because they inspire us. Exactly. They inspire us to wake up and, you know, what should we do, blah, blah, yeah. So that's that's one. Um, and then two is always kind of switch up your content. You know what I mean? Si uno hace siempre lo mismo, pues uno también se puede aburrir. Yeah, you know? la gente se abu um, aburre. And sometimes it might be difficult to change your content porque luego dices, nah, pues a la gente que me, que me sigue, pues a lo mejor no le gustan estas cosas. Yeah. Um, pero you'd be surprised that either A, they might not, mm -hmm. or B, they're going to like it now because we are doing it and we are inspiring them to do something different or we're talking about something different. Mm -hmm. Um. And the most important one is C, is you're going to grab new people new that didn't know that you did stuff like that. Exactly. And now they fuck with you, too. And now you have, you know, either the same audience and more that, you know, are, are, are so Coming new in. to what you do because of the new things that you're doing. Exactly. Like, now answering your question, now with the podcast, I wanted to do something new. I think it was, like, in 2019, right? It was, mm -hmm. I think, a year before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Um, I was doing vlogs with Karen. We were doing like little cooking stuff and she's always been into doing beauty tutorials and stuff yeah. like that. And I just said, oh, I just want to do something different. You know, um, I would listen to a couple of podcasts and I'm like, this would be so cool porque conozco tanta gente que, que mucha gente los quiere o yo conozco mucha gente que maybe they're not in las redes sociales, pero mm -hmm. they're interesting y los puedo, you know, invitar a la casa because I had it at yeah. my house first. So I just did a podcast, and honestly, I think it was a little bit of me being como un poco huevón, uh -huh. because I didn't want to, like, take my backpack y andar con, like, the drone and two cameras yeah. and all the microphones and create this really cool vlog style that I'd like to do. You know, uh -huh. era mucho trabajo. So I was like, man, you know, F all that. Let's just sit down and talk, and let's see how people like it. Mm -hmm. Y a la gente le gustó. And, um, yeah, and it, 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 was, it was good. It was really good. I, I did it by myself. For a couple years, uh, on and off, like consistently in a way of like it was always there. Okay. But not like now we post every week, every week. And I think me, Josh episode. and myself have been doing it for almost two years, every week. And it's been yeah. bringing nothing but blessings. And Good. anyways, Josh has been my friend for such a long time. That's yeah. mi hermano. He was part of my court. And when I got married, uh -huh. I'll do anything for Josh. Um, and how, how did you meet him? So, like, going back to I do it all, I uh. was a hairdresser. And I like to say, like, I still am a hairdresser by mm -hmm. trade. So I was a hairdresser, and then I was cutting hair in L.A. And um, I used to do, like, a bunch of, like, YouTubers' hair. Uh -huh. And then one YouTuber by the name of Alex Wasabi, he introduced me to Josh. And uh, oh. me and him always clicked, you know. Uh -huh. we're, the, we're so different, but at the same time, the same pe person. And why was it him that you chose to be with you in the podcast? Well, uh, the second episode I ever did on La Plática, when La Plática started, it was with Josh. I invited Josh as okay. a guest. Uh -huh. And um, pues, he's just such a character. Yeah. Le gusta hablar. Um, he's very known. Mm -hmm. um, his worth ethic is, 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 is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, he's funny. He's charismatic ah, you all falling in love with Dude, him pinche resume yeah no because i am in love with josh yeah, i've yeah. been in love with josh he's yeah. one of, he's one of my best friends yeah 100 literally you know lo que harías, and lo uh, que sea, yeah lo que I, 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 I love him like a brother mm -hmm. and um anyway so long story short i want la patria was kind of like going down in a way uh -huh. Where not necessarily like views wise or anything because it was doing the same as always. Mm -hmm. But I said, man, I really want to fucking grab La Plática and I really want to grab it by its fucking horns. And yeah. I really want to be like top tier podcast, Hell you yeah. know. And but not only that, I cared more about having fun while I was doing it. Exactly. I started to lose somewhat of an interest doing it by myself, inviting people over. Sometimes they flake. Sometimes, you know, I can't grab people. It's hard it was hard for me to do it by myself. Yeah. 
Um, for then that's just me. Oh, one hundred. No, but yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. just me. So, you know, I spoke to Karen. I was like, and I, and I think Josh was in a couple episodes prior. So I, that really like sparked my interest, you know. And I'll be real with you. I I don't really like to like make people be a part of something I'm doing because then mm-hmm. it's like pressure for me to to make them happy mm-hmm. or you know that goes with not just a podcast just anything in life you know Hasta cuando invito gente a comer, you know I don't want to be responsible for anybody you know because you know I want people to have fun I you know um so I spoke to Karen and I said I think I I think I want to invite Josh me and Josh were already doing a lot of like work with salute we did a collab for la plática uh-huh. and um you know I we helped each other out a lot. We were already seeing right. each other very frequently. So it almost like made sense to invite him for life. Damn. You know, and, uh-huh. you know, so I told Karen, long story short, and then I, you know, I was like, I think I'm going to tell Josh if he wants to be the other host. And I never wanted to say co-host because I never want him to make him feel like he was the second guy. Yeah. I always wanted to make him feel like he is right there with me. The same this is thing your as show. You. And I called him and I was like, dude. I just wanted to ask you something. And we were already talking, so como que le asust- lo asusté. Uh-huh. I think he was going to think that I was going to ask him to move in or something. Or so, or we, can move in, or we can move into his house yeah. or something. Uh, because the way that he answered was very like, hey, everything okay? <laughs> and I was like, no, Josh. It was like I was asking him out to prom. Yeah. And I was, nervioso, yeah, I was nervous. I was, nervous. Like, oh, I was so nervous because I'm like, what about if he says no? I'm going to yeah. be crushed. Yeah. No, pero he was so excited when uh-huh. I asked him and you know, ever since that, um, it's been amazing. It's and it's been amazing. a very and successful show. And yeah, it continues thank you. to be. And it's because they both have like a chemistry as in like they know how to communicate. Maybe if the show or the episode is kind of like they just know how to like you guys are very good with communicating yeah. and just filling in those gaps thank and everything. You. So they make a very good team. And I feel like you couldn't have chose a better person. Like I, I Josh couldn't. is that person. I couldn't. And I don't know anybody else. Yeah. And honestly, I think. I thank God uh, for Josh all the time because. Oh, yeah. Um, how many episodes tienen? Sorry for cutting out. How many episodes ya tienen? Como más de 100, yo creo. Really? Juntos, yeah. Or Every just Monday. about 100. Because I, I remember it was like he got, he hopped on around 30 or 40. And I think now we're almost at like 140. So it has Damn. to be either 100 or close to 100. And what's, what would you say are your top three episodes that you've liked the most? <laughs> Honestly, no postar aquí, pero the one that you were on with us, we the had so one. much fun. That one was popping. And that was on the old studio. Yeah, I freaking love it. That was so much fun. Uh-huh. Um, we left that day and me and Josh were like, she's amazing. Oh, dude, you thank know? you know, It was no, so, God. it's easy to conversate with somebody mm-hmm. on a podcast. And if you can conversate with us back and not be shy or, yeah, or, 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 you know. Keep that combo going. Yeah, keep the flow going and the energy. That's all we really want. Oh, one hundred percent. So, and then it's easy with Josh being there because we can always go back and forth twenty four seven. But you know, you made us feel comfortable. You being Thank there, you. No, we igual. hope we did too. So igual. definitely one of yours. Thank you. Um, and honestly, some of the best episodes was are just me and him. Yeah. Like the ones, all the inside jokes, all the things that people comment. Uh, it's, it's it's always been just me and him. Que bueno. Um, nunca se aburren juntos, pues. You guys have nunca. a lot of things to just go over and talk about. And I think the magic to La Plática is that when we really, you know, stuck with it, it was we told ourselves, no matter who's on, it's still going to be our show. Exactly. And they're just there in our world, Mm -hmm. you know, which we love. Yeah, yeah. But if we can keep it where it's like, this is our, you know, we are the main ones, but we're bringing somebody special. I think that's going to work out really good. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, when somebody comes on, it's just like all eyes on them, you know, and we always try to treat them good, very well with respect, you know. Yeah. Well, the two times I've been on it, I feel completely comfortable. I feel very. Yeah. And la amistad de ustedes más que nada and the friendship that I have with you guys, you know, because I consider you guys my friends. Um, Es una amistad muy bonita. Very welcoming, very warm. You don't feel, they don't make you feel like they're any better or nothing. No. Like, it, like they make you feel the yeah. most comfortable possible. So thank you. No, no, yeah, gracias. but yeah, that's how that's how it's and that's how it's going. And it's and you know it's it's brought a lot of joy to us and it's uh, made our relationship a lot better. And it's popping all over TikTok. So now yeah. you're gonna take a shot if you don't answer me this Ooh, question. Where's Which, the shot? Where's the shot? But well, if oh, you, if you answer, answer this question, okay. if you don't want to answer this question, you gotta take a shot. Okay. But if you answer it, 
You don't got to take the okay. shot. Okay. Who's the worst guest that you've had on La Plática? Oh, my God. Or take a shot. Oh, my God. Just because I'm so nice and I don't ever want to disrespect anybody, I'm going to take the shot. Damn. It's not going to benefit me <laughs> saying a name. So I'm just, I'm just, with all due respect, all of my I guests got, have been a privilege to I just came up with the question to, to make you take a shot. <laughs> he's not going to say a name, obviously. No, and all his guests are amazing on yeah, him. So no, you know but he's take the shot. I will say that there are some guests that were definitely a little harder. But I wouldn't say it was like my worst episode. You I know? think having a podcast that would probably be the hardest, like keeping that flow where they can keep it going. Yeah. A veces uno se atora. And that's the thing with you and Josh, you have that partner to like communicate yeah. in case the guests like or the flow. Yo digo, si el flow valió madre, valió madre. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like a very it's hard, hard when it's by yourself. Mm -hmm. It is. Because then it's just you and the with guests. your thoughts. And that's it. And what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Now I have Josh that like say the flow isn't all there. You know, maybe sometimes people who watch, they catch on to it. Maybe. exactly. But when it's just one person, it's hard. It's definitely harder. Okay. A ver. Uh, go. Y eso okay. que apenas me Déjate. curé la Pero cruda. Dude, for real. Buzz balls? No, no more buzz balls. Never. Thank you, though. Wow. This is an epic moment in my life right now. Taking a shot. Gracias, eh? Toma hasta el topo. Mira, me lo voy a tomar aquí para que... Para que no se ponga en, el, en la carpeta. Don't drink alcohol if you're under Wait, 21. Are you, taking it, are you taking it with me or am yeah, I just taking yeah, it by myself yeah. right now? Oh, no. Okay. Salud to your successful podcast with Josh thank and you, to man. all of the good things. And thank you for coming on. Of course. Thank you. Salud. This is a memorable moment in my life. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. Now, um, Jess, could you bring me the buzz ball that I brought um Sebas? Shut up. <laughs> hey, isn't it crazy? Bro, why are you on all fours? Like, Shut up. <laughs> no buzz ball. Oh, oh. Here. Hold on. Oh, got it. Got, it, got, it, got it. it. Yeah. Isn't Shoot. it crazy how, like... Oh, I haven't drank it yet. Right, I'm go, scared. Go. A little quick thing. When I went to Sebas and um, Josh's Ugh. podcast, I was very drunk. <laughs> Puta madre. I was so drunk I threw up in my car. Wait, no way. I was very, very No way. I'm so very sorry. Drunk. No, no, no. That's because I wanted to. You know I wanted to get fucked up that day. I even told Josh and, and, yeah. and Sebas, I was like, they were like, right, do you want to take a shot? I was like, oh, I want to drink. Let's drink. You threw so, up? But let me tell you why. I sat all the way in the back. And, and I had and the Tahoe. Remember phone. the Tahoe's the, yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. long? Entonces yo estaba en el asiento de mero atrás. And I remember we were driving. I don't know where we were going. And we were turning a lot, and I was like, oh, shit. Sas que me vomito en el piso. That Tahoe has seen better days, because I <laughs> eat. I dropped the Coke. Oh, my God. Me pasas un papel. And the couch is white. Oh, wait, I have one right here. Actually. And you told me you didn't even see that episode. Oh, oh I got can it, Can you Jess. talk about that? No, we can talk about that right now. I have never seen the episode that I've done with La Platica, <laughs> because I'm scared of seeing myself drunk. It was a very good episode, and I opened up, which, by the way... My little brother told me that my dad saw the episode. Really? Um, I was talking to my little brother and bro, not thought they being entrevistada in her own show, but anyways, <laughs> he said my dad saw it and that my dad was very emotional, and that my dad, wow. um, dude, honestly, because right after that, I'm gonna tell you, you something. Guys... La plática is one of the reasons why I created my relationship That's with my what dad I was again. About to say because shortly it after. Is. We talked. You think he saw that? Yeah. Well, my little brother told me. He said that my dad had seen the episode and that my dad... It's because I have tias that are chismosas from his side that watch all this shit. These bitches are going to watch this shit too. And any piece that I talk about my dad, they send it to him. So they saw where I was crying and talking about him with you guys. And I guess it hit him. And my little brother said that my dad was very emotional and very sad. Damn. So you guys are one of the reasons why I opened my wow. relationship. I feel with like Jose him. Luis sin censura. No, es de verdad. Dude, have you ever been in a fight when you were younger? Like una pelea de aputazos? I'm trying to make an excuse not to take the shot. I know, take, take the it. shot. Okay, I'm going to do a gulp right here. Okay, here we go. <sighs> apple juice, apple juice, apple juice. Oh, yeah, there's your apple juice trick. That doesn't work for me, by the way. I think about apple juice and I still taste fat tequila. Oh, oh, to apple juice. oh my god, that's so disgusting. Yo, that's kinda that kinda makes me feel like amazing. What? 
that your dad saw that and oh, maybe was part of the reason why you guys do you, rekindled no, your relationship. No, seriously. Do you guys realize that a lot of supporters that watch you guys, you guys literally make their days? and like, Yeah, we do because... Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, we no, no, we do ahead. because I get really emotional DMs sometimes. Really? Um, and they speak about how much you know they might be going through mm -hmm. uh, tough times in their family. Really? something that happens in their life mm -hmm. and them just watching us, really? um, you know, whether it helps them out for the rest of their life or just that moment and that mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. to make them smile or whatever. Um, yeah, it, it means a lot. And that's one of the main reasons why Josh and myself, we, Keep we love going. what we do. Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, sometimes, you know, we shoot the shit, we make people laugh, decimos puras pendejadas, but, you make but at the end of the day, we, you know, we make people smile and, and yeah. that's all that and really counts. It literally, there's your audience that are like waiting every Monday. Yeah. Waiting for That's your why episode. I have to post on waiting. Mondays. Have you ever slacked or missed an episode? Yeah. Uh, I think never for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Never <laughs> missed an episode, but missed a Monday. Okay. So sometimes we've missed like a Monday, but we've still posted every week. Oh, good. Okay. So, yeah. Wait, but you mean if you don't post a Monday, you'll post a Tuesday? Maybe. Oh, my God. I'm so lightweight. There's no way. How? Yeah, ya te pego? No, I just, my head right now feels like a dizzy. I'm telling you. Damn. Es que yo no, yo no tomo. But honestly. <laughs> every time I see that, she goes, I don't drink anymore. Tell me your worst blacked out story and I'll tell you mine right now. Worst blacked out story. Blacked out story. Like, todo cagao and everything. Pues no me ha tocado, unfortunately, estar cagado. No? No, no. Nunca, you've never but peed vomitados, your pants or nothing? Vomitados, sí. There was this time where I went out. Scary, too. Like, this really opened up my eyes, and I was like, you need to fucking grow up. Oh, shit. Um, we okay. all went out, and um, we we blacked out. And I'm not even going to lie. I thought I was fine to drive, and I know this is really bad of me. Mm -hmm. um, but we woke up in a gas station with my car on at like four in the morning. Todos los pinches, um, the windows were all foggy oh, from shit. us just breathing in there. Really? Yeah, and I woke up, and we were all fucking vomitados. And <gasps> this was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I oh. blacked out. Really? I don't think I was I don't think I was blacking out while I was driving. Mm -hmm. I think for, I don't even remember. For some reason, we were, I parked at a gas station. Y ahí me quedé. Really? Y gracias a Dios, no manejé or nothing like that. I mean, it's horrible for me to say, but I did drive to that gas station. Mm -hmm. Y gracias a Dios, ahí me quedé. Because after that, I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? And right when I woke up, everybody woke up. And sadly, we were all laughing because mm -hmm. it was just this what the fuck moment. Yeah, like what the hell's going on? Uh, but I was, since that day, I was tetrified and I've never done that ever again. Damn, And dude. do not do that, guys. No, not at all. No. So I never Damn. really like to talk about that because yeah. I don't like saying that I drove when I was like drunk and blah, blah. Mm. But it me pasó. Wow. And um, after that, like, yeah, no, I don't. You don't fuck with but, none of that I stuff. I mean, there's been many times that I've blacked out, pero así normal. Como locura, como esa. Yeah, pero así no normal, like, oh, fuck, you know? Damn, um, dude. Pero that time, it was it was bad. That was one of your, like, wake-up calls, like, wake the fuck yeah, up, like, know what the, the hell back you're doing. Seat, yeah, the backseat was all vomitado God for my friend. Estaba nomás con un amigo. Yeah, it was, like, two friends. I damn, think we were, like, dude. out, and then, yeah. Yámonos al gas station. Damn. Yeah. Oh, shit. What este about you? Trago, el the worst blacked out. <laughs> So one time I got really fucked up with Fireball. Fireball, fuck cinnamon, fuck fireball. Like, hell no, never again. Y yo también de pendeja. Sas, 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 tome, tome. I was at my friend's house. My mom was there. My friends, dude, all my friends are literally like over 30, over like. Uh -huh. That's why people want to tell them that I'm 24. People don't believe me. Yeah. Um, Because I'm always with older people. I don't have a problem with people yeah. calling me 30 or 24. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just mature. That's just how it is. Anyways, I got fucked up with Fireball. Me empedé machín. I don't remember anything. I don't remember 1%. I don't remember nothing. Yeah. I have these I have two friends. Eh, este they're married. Este son dos muchachas y entonces they're my really good friends and um it was at their aunt's house. My mom left me at that house because I was blacked out. I woke up the next day in a tent with both of them and I was in the middle. I was like, "Inga su madre, hubo un trío." I was like, valio madre. I was like, oh, shit, because I was already dating Edgar, right? And I was like, oh, my God, did something happen? What? 
I was like, what happened, right? Wait, the, you were you woke up with in the middle do, of the two girls, and but they're married. Oh. And I woke up in the middle, but they're my good friends. Yeah, right? las conoces. Yeah, yeah. Like I've 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 had sleepovers at their house and everything. I just thought it was crazy that I woke up in the middle and I was fucked up the the day before. Pero tenías tu ropa y todo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, nothing happened, right? And I woke up and I look at one of them, and I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like I was like, dude, did something happen? Yeah. She was like, no, Tati, you were just cold in the night and you wanted to sleep in the middle. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. I was like, okay, okay. And I remember that I got up and me salí de la, de la tent because we slept in a tent outside in the backyard. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck that tent came from. Un pinche vometero. Como que I threw up all over the perimeter of the tent. Like there was a whole ass circle ritual oh my God. of vomit. The next day, I smelled cinnamon. Y yeah. me dio un puto asco, oh, dude. And you threw up again. Fuck that. They were showing me videos, and I guess I was like, dude, I was so, like, I looked like the demonio. My eyes were fucking, like. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how we cannot remember and then no, just act a certain way? I don't remember nothing. Like, I don't oh. remember 1%. I and don't remember fireball, any. too. Cuanto fire fingy fireball te Is that tequila or whiskey? No. Oh, it's I know like how a... much I drank. You know, on the gas station, not the big ass bottle, but the ones that yeah, are the like this. Yeah, the normal one. Those ones? Todo. Yo me tomé uno solo. Yeah. Because it doesn't taste like alcohol. Have you tried Fireball? Como al chicle big, big, big red. Sí. O, sa o huele como esos dulces, uh, esos like, um, yeah. los well, pine cones yeah. or es whatever como you call canela, it. Yeah. yeah, so anyways, fuck Fireball. And I've never drank ever since. Yeah, but dude, I've had some that. Fireball stories. Yeah. yeah, damn, it's fucking crazy. It's but nothing compared to Buzz Balls because I've been fucked up with Buzz Balls. And I've only do that when I go ruteando. And I've, pobre Edgar, man. Not my fiance, dude. I once got, I once blacked out and he said I don't remember. I don't remember one percent of it. He said I fell into a lake. He said I got off of the canam. I ran to a lake. I threw myself in the lake and he went and threw himself in there as well to get me out. That's so mojado. fucking embarrassing, dude. Toda cagada right there. Fuck. Con el lodo y todo. Fuck, dude. The next day, todo. Yeah. Oh, the hell The thing no. is that buzz balls, you know, I w w they're w dangerous. I had a couple shots already and like I was drinking chelas. Uh -huh. And then I was like, fuck it, let's crack the buzz ball. And they crack on ice. Yeah. You know, pinche focote que tenía. He goes, look, 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 me eché. And I was like, mm, that's good. It doesn't taste like alcohol. No. But after a couple more gluk, gluk, gluks, I was like, yo, uh, uh, uh. I'm fucking spinning. <laughs> Bro, you I'm spinning. Like, you, you know, when you hit the piñata and you're like this <laughs> with the fucking palo? Yeah. I see. But. There was no piñata. Describe being drunk in five words. That drunk. Uh, you were with the buzz ball. Okay. Super dizzy. Okay. Super like airhead. Like, oh my God. Okay. I'm breathing like really heavy because when I get dizzy like that, I want to throw up. And like, I have to breathe like this. Oh, to kind of catch myself. Mm -hmm. I was walking back and forth because I'm pacing myself. I'm like. I'm in my head. I'm telling myself, stop. Yeah, It'll yeah. go away right now. No. The buzz ball is in full effect. I'm buzzing hard. Shh, like hard. That? Dude. And um, another word. Nada. Pues pinche idiota que yo me tomé la mitad. Es que no sabe alcohol, dude. No and the whole time, alcohol. there's those stupid letters that say on the buzz ball. It says blah, blah, blah. And then there's in big letters in the middle of the foco that says buzz ball something. And I told my boy, let's drink it hasta la mitad on the toque, no. on the said buzz ball. So I was like, look, look, look. And after that, I was like, no, I, I don't I don't think I'll ever drink that much buzz ball again. If you bring it, you know, I'll, look, 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 I'll have a shot. But let's see. take another shot right now. Yeah, if you want. No, please. Okay. Yeah, if you want. Ya anda yeah. como, no, no, it's because, look, I'll never say no to you because you never said no to me. And honestly, to be it. honest with you, the, the, the sad thing about this is apenas me cure, cure una cruda. And sadly, the only thing that makes me feel better is having a shot. Nada mata el alcohol como el alcohol. Es como dicen, uh, veneno mata veneno. Veneno mata el veneno, dude, dead ass. So, uh, yeah, Me why like we take veneno, this shot please. and I'm listándolos. Can you tell us where you've traveled to? All the places you've traveled to already. Uh, Everywhere. Uh, and the gente, best one you've been to and, and one where you're not going to go again. Uno, Ooh. the best one you've been to and one where you're like, I went, but I won't go back. I don't know. I don't ever want to say I wouldn't go back to places. It's just I would rather spend my money somewhere else, right? Um, I don't know. Maybe this is just me being super biased porque soy mexicano. But, for example, like, 
the Bahamas and stuff are really nice, like the Caribbean. But I'd rather spend my money and go to, like, Mexico. Like, go to Hell Vallarta, yeah. go to Cabo, me voy a Cancun o algo. Es que cuando vas en esos lugares, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And if you've never had a chance to go, I think you should go. You should go. I think it's amazing. I think the culture is beautiful. But for me, it's like, ¿pa qué voy a viajar hasta allá? Mm -hmm. Cuando puedo gastar el mismo o menos dinero en, en irme a Cabo o Vallarta mm -hmm. o hasta Mazatlán. You've been to Mazatlán? Yeah. Oh, my God, está hermoso Mazatlán. Especially oh. now. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. um, but, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but why would I spend all this money to travel farther para comida que no me gusta tanta como la de México? 100%. No I me agree. voy a empedar tan a gusto como me empedo en México. Mm -hmm. You know? And honestly, like, Mexico to me, and like I said, maybe it is me being biased, maybe it's not. Customer service. Oh top my god, tier. top shit. No one, no other restaurant will give yeah. you top tier customer yeah. service like Mexico. And I'm not saying other countries don't give top tier service. I just, you know, I've traveled a good amount and mm -hmm. Mexi Me Mexican people are the best, you know? 100%. And sure, there might be some people that have bad, you know, experiences. experiences. Pero Lo así normal. como en todos los lugares. Lo normal. But I honestly rather go to Mexico everywhere, but uh, I'd rather go to Mexico first and anywhere in the world and that's just me but like i said i don't want people thinking that i'm biased but where have i traveled to i don't i don't know a lot of a lot of Let places me ask, you've been to paris yeah you've been to damn dude you've been on a plane for 16 hours you've been to dubai already yeah really yeah how is dubai it's beautiful yeah it's very beautiful it, it's super it's, hot yeah um but it's gorgeous es otro mundo es muy caro allá es muy caro really es muy caro todo todo y es muy si caro. no vas a gastar dinero allá uh -huh. no te la vas a pasar tan a gusto really because i mean yeah you can obviously mm -hmm. you know hay, hay maña pa todo. oh yeah yeah 100%. pero así que te vas en los en los canams en el desierto en los jeeps, en la, oh that's yeah, right you, you have you go to all there. the museums yeah. you go mm -hmm. you know skydiving you oh, know shit, on top of the burj of khalifa que no sé qué. not there but i have you've been skydiving yeah in hawaii oh, huh. um but you know, es, es, todo eso cuesta plata. Puro dinero. So, you know, so, and then you stay at a nice hotel, but mm -hmm. it's it's gorgeous. And not only that, to fly to Dubai, está, está carito. Oh, yeah. yeah. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto sale como un boleto? Like $2,000? <laughs> Mínimo, yo creo. Really? It's far. ¿Todos tienen camas en los aviones esos? Or it's only first no, class? No, that's just, they have a first class and then they have a business class. So first class is como un pinche cuarto. Really? Yeah, you're just there, and it's just like top tier service. That's in mm -hmm. la cama. They're like you've eh, been a first class in rey. Dubai. Fortunately, when uh, Karen was working with the brand, mm -hmm. and um, they were super nice enough to for me to go with her, uh -huh. and uh, they, I think they just did business class, but oh, we, we, we was still like a lay down flat, and it was very nice. Y and los demás we entonces son sillo, no más son. The other ones chair? are just regular seats, yeah. Pero el pinche hours. avión está gigante. I heard that there's a bar inside. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, that, that's true. There's no way. Yeah, un pinche bar y te empedas ahí and then you go to sleep. Imagine you with the buzz ball up in the fucking air, todo pedo. Fuck that, todo. Imagine you. Me fue el pinche avión todo. todo. Un día vas a estar en ese pinche avión en el bar and you're going to be. You know what? I'm going to be very honest with you. Thousands of feet in the air. We've been wanting to go to like Dubai and travel, you know, outside of Me of Mexico because I only like Mex I only like going to Mexico too. I'm gonna be straight up, <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I only like going to Mexico, but why? I'm gonna tell you why. No conocí otros lugares. That's why. Yeah. That's the only reason why. Pero te voy a decir algo muy honesto. Yo amo la gente mexicana. Yo amo el desmadre que Me hace too. la gente mexicana. Me too. I don't know if you saw the problem that's going on in Mazatlán. Que they want yeah, to that's why I said. I don't know if you caught what I said. I yeah, said we'll like, get wait, back to that because yeah. I was going to tell you. Did you hear about all the bandas and I shit? I made a video about it and I'm going to say it again right here. I think that's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. It's very bullshit. Who the fuck says let's go to Mazatlán to take a relaxed, quiet trip. Nah, Go to a fucking that. library. Like, nah. what are you doing in Mazatlán? Y la problema es que la gente, los dueños de los, de los hoteles and mm -hmm. everything, that some of mm -hmm. them are agreeing to it, chinguen a su madre, todos. Teras, el, al pinche antro, al, no al antro, al pinche hotel yeah. que traía, tenía el viejo con su pinche flut cagao. Yeah. Y que no oh, le I saw that. Dude, like, why the fuck? Like, es desmadre, Mazatlán. Con la pinche gente ahí en sus chanclas, nomás sentados ahí. Fuck that. 
okay, I'm sorry, but it's it's that same people, and you don't have to agree. I'm gonna say it because <laughs> I'm gonna be sure. Correct. It's that same fucking people that come that are here in the U S. and talk shit to us that yeah. tell us go back over there nah, that are over there. That. Then what the fuck are you doing over there if you don't want to, if you don't like the Hispanic yeah, people? No, nah, fuck. The fuck that. you want to, you know? No, like, pero gracias a Dios que los pinches mexicanos son una verga and they fucking yeah. they all Hasta united y todo pink 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 Llegó el ejército in the allá más atrás. Did yeah. you see? Mm -hmm. Llegaron y tocaron el pinche yeah. el tao tao. Yeah, Damn. el tao tao. Dude, I love I love the yeah. Mexican culture. I'm the same way as you. So yeah, and I don't know. Maybe I just got that from like my mother that like you know. Your mom's from Guadalajara. Yeah. And you've been to Guadalajara. Of course. Está hermoso, dude. Yeah. I yo, was just there. Yo creo que por eso pues aprendí bien el español porque mi mamá pues no más habla español. Yeah. She speaks English too, and she's 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 actually really good at talking in English. But I, I know I saw the episode when you had her here yeah. for Mother's Day. So uh, I've always spoken to her in Spanish. Um, pero ella siempre nos mandaba a Guadalajara o Jalisco en general. Cheers. Cheers. Ya te lo tomas. Yeah. One more. Last one before we close the show. Okay. Last one. But uh, this is gonna be my second one. You you can do the third one. Pa curarte la cruda. Andale. Tú curatela. Ay, Dios. Cheers. Cheers. Vámonos, Rey. Gracias, gracias por tenerme. Arriba Mazatlán. Arriba Mazatlán. Arriba Sinaloa. Se... Dude, ya, yeah, Michoacán, dude. I'm Michoacán, from Michoacán, yeah, that's right, Michoacán, pero arriba Sinaloa, Sinaloa Michoacán, Michoacán, Jalisco, Guanajuato, everything, arriba toda la gente mexicana y el chingazo madre, todos los que nos les gusta la banda de Mazatlán. <laughs> arriba Sonora. Mexicali, Tijuana. All the people from Mexico. Guerrero. Todos. Durango. Todos, todos. Dude, oh my God. Dude, I'm, I'm not. I'm three shots in. Jesus. Yeah, for real. Anyways, let's dive into a chisme call. You've okay. seen my chisme yes. calls que ha tenido. Where basically we have fans and supporters that fill out the application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nos dan un poco de. Nos cuentan cosas bien yeah. locas, Sebas, eh. Y el, y el pinche chisme hoy está perro, eh. La That's neta. when you know you're Mexican when you say Lucas. Nos, nos Lucas, I didn't say oh, Lucas. Oh, did you not say Lucas? No. What did you say right now? I don't even remember. What did I say? <laughs> Anyways, let's dive into a chisme call from who's going to give us some family chisme okay. in Spanish. Algo de una perra que quiere... Está fuerte, eh? So right. let's dive in. Let's, let's see what excited. he has to tell us. Hay que ver en qué desmadre nos vamos a meter. Let's do it. Estoy listo. ¿No te va a dar miedo? Nah, a mí me gustan las, las, los chismes así. Damn, yeah. hola arriesgado. So, no, le vamos a ayudar y yeah, le, so, le vamos a decir qué, qué hacer y todo. You're going to be a therapist right now. Okay. So, haz de cuenta, he's going to... That's gonna, why I sat down like Yeah, this. he's going to... Ahorita nos va... We're going to call him y nos va a contar todo el chisme y todo. And we kind of just react to it and we okay. just... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. ¿Y ya sabe que le vamos a llamar ahorita? Yeah, well, okay. he's the one that filled out the application. Él está listo. listo. Márquenle, márquenle. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. It is. Wow, I'm nervous. You're going to answer. Hola. Hola, sí es. Sí. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y usted? Bien, bien. Me llamo Sebastián Robles. Soy uno de la, de, de, de la plática y aquí tengo a Itati con suelta la lengua. Hi. ¿Cómo crees? Oh, hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y usted? Bien, bien. Aquí estamos. Los dos vamos a estar escuchando que tienes una historia muy loca que contarnos. A ver, a ver. Sí. Ahora sí, estamos listos. Bueno, pues. Estamos listos, a ver, Jorge. ¿Sí? Ok, pues. Cuando estaba así, bueno, no tan chiquito, porque tenía como los 14 años, yo pienso. Ajá. Creo que fue el verano antes de la pandemia. Ajá. Y entonces, pues, era cuando ya nos andábamos moviendo con la familia de, de la esposa de mi papá. Uh -huh. Y pues nos, movi mo nos movimos a un departamento y pues ahí estábamos todos, ¿verdad? Y pues, un backstory, pues, para que, pa que puedan entender, pues. Ajá. Antes de cuando nos movimos, nosotros teníamos un ple, un pedo bien feo con las con las niñas de de mi pa, de, de la pareja de mi papá Ajá. y con su esposa también nos llevábamos. Entonces siempre peleábamos y siempre nos agarrábamos a pues yo, ya saben pues era como los nos agarramos bien la, nuestras familias y todo eso pues Ajá. y nos agarrábamos y la de era la de mediano a ver un hombre a un un hombre a ver cómo le vamos a hay que ponerle un nombre porque me dijeron que no le digan su nombre. Entonces, <risa> ya sabes. Um, Ponle Carlos. No, Pirujienta, más mejor. Porque así me gusta. <risa> What did he say? Pirujienta. <risa> pirujienta, okay. ok. Ok, me gusta. Entonces, la Pirujienta, pues ella era la del medio. Entonces, mm. esa era la que estaba, la verdad, más chiflada, pues no estaba, no estaba bien de la cabeza. Y entonces, pues cuando, cuando estábamos 
ahí nos un, un día pues que, que llegó creo que era un domingo porque salimos de la iglesia Ajá. y nos agarramos a una pelea bien feo yo Ajá. yo la empujé ella me empujó mi hermano más grande la empujó para allá le echó para no sé para dónde la aventó pero la aventó bien feo y entonces cuando la hicimos todo eso ella se fue a llorar a su cuarto y no sé qué gritó y todo su cuento Ajá. y después pues todo, todo a mí no me importó pues y después, una semana después, yo llegué de la escuela y después mi papá me sale que, que me enseña con, con su diario. Y me dice, ay, Giovanni, aunque no, aunque no sabes qué me encontré en, en, el, en este diario. Y yo le dije, a ver qué, y después me, me cuenta y, y, me, y yo empiezo a ver, pues, ajá. ajá y empiezo a ver todas las cosas y después yo miro que, que era un plan de, de matarnos a toda la familia de ah. esa niña. Y ella es la que tenía entonces, eso en el, dia en el diario. Es de ella el diario. Ajá, Un plan para sí. matarlos. Ajá. ¿Y, y qué decía? El, el, el qué decía? ¿Cómo los quería matar? Bueno, pues cuando yo, lo que yo, de, de lo que yo me acuerdo es de que yo iba a ser el que me iba a matar primero. Dijo que, ah. que iba a entrar a mi cuarto a las 3 de la mañana. Se llama a las 3. A mi, la hora del diablo. A, a la las 3 de la mañana. Ajá. A las 3 de la mañana y me iba a. a show con la, con la almohada, pues. Y, oh, y, me, y después de cuando ya esté muerto me iba a cuchillar es que yeah. me río wow. bien rápido es que yo estoy como en shock o sea cómo chingados alguien eso es de estar loco de la mente cómo te pone a escribir pues, hasta la hora lo voy a matar a las 3 de la mañana ahogarlo con la almohada oh, my God. dude that's psycho shit that's oh, scary yeah. está loca verdad cuántos okay, años tenías tú 14 yo tenía como los 13 ¿Y cuántos no, años cuando yo tenía le dije, yo le dije a la pirujienta tenía como, creo que 11. ¿What? Oh, wey, wey. Yo sí. pensé que era alguien más grande. O sea, una, una de 11 años no, diciendo sí. que te va a ahorcar a las 3 de la mañana. No, no, no. Nah, pero todavía falta, todavía falta. A ver. No, y entonces, pues, entonces se eh, dijo que segundo iba a ser el más grande. Que lo iba a cuchillar hasta que viera su, su corazón salir y que su sangre y todo eso. ¿A los 11 entonces, años? Pues, no está uh -huh. bien. Hasta yo tengo uh -huh. miedo. No, pues sí. Wow, pues, okay. Y después se iba a eso y después dijo que, que al, al más chiquito lo iba a cuchillar 10 veces nomás. 10 veces. No más. Para dis, pa decir 10 sí. veces nomás no más. es una locura. Para decir, pa decir, ¿no? Y entonces y después dijo que, segundo, que cuando ya acabara con nosotros, nos iba a dejar y después con sus hermanas y que les iba a matar. ¿No será sí, que ay, ella no. trae como un trauma o como que por qué es así ella? Es que están locas, la verdad están locas. Yo le dije a mi papá que la familia de, de esa señora, Ajá. de esa señora la verdad no está bien, toda su familia tienen problemas y yo le dije cuando se... No, pues ahorita yo ya está más loca. Trauma. Está y, más loca ahorita. Tati. Y luego después de... No, de misa. ahorita no manches, ahorita ella nomás dice cosas por decirlas. La otra vez andaba diciendo que según mi, mi papá la quería tocar y no mames, yo le dije, yo le dije a esa niña, porque oh, esa niña tiene, tiene el, tiene el, tiene el, pues, la, la, si es, no sé cómo se dice, pero tiene la la maña de andar diciendo cosas así, porque Ajá. antes decía que tu, que el, que el hermano de... Y después decía que, que mi hermano más grande. Y después decía que el, el papá de... Eh, mi papá, pues. Y, ¿Y yo le dije... No la yo, yo sí me enojé. ¿O algo? No, pues sí, yo me enojé. Yo le... Ajá. Yo le... No manches, quizás si me hubieras visto ese día porque... La verdad, pues yo le... Lo que lo que vi, se lo tiraba porque yo le dije... Si alguien se entera de esto o, o si piensa eso, mi papá... Mi papá, mi hermano... Sí, o se yo, pueden ir a la o cárcel. Que sea que se pueden ir a la cárcel, sí. Damn. Y pues yo me enojé. No, bueno, pues, es... y, después, wow. y, y ella que... es hija de la pareja de tu papá, ¿verdad? Pues sí, no, sí, 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 de la señora. ¿Será, no, que, nomás no, no le gusta... no tengo... ¿Será que nomás no le gustaba que estaba con, que tenían a ustedes de hermanos o medios hermanos? A lo mejor no le gustó la idea o no sé. No, Pero pues, obviamente tu papá gusta. no le anda diciendo estas cosas a su pareja, de su hija. No, que... pues sí le dice, pero es que a esa señora no le importa nada. Pues también... Ella nomás dice... Pues con todo ¿Eh? respeto, pero también media loca la pareja, yeah. ¿no? Por no... La señora eh, también, eh, por no... De, por no... Sé, no, manches. Dale un Quítate. putazo a su hija. ¿Sabes ajá. cómo quisiera? ¿Cómo quisiera que un día vieran qué tan pendeja loca está esta señora, la verdad? Está bien... ¿Cuántos ah, no años manches, tiene, tiene ahorita? Un... ¿Cuántos años tiene la, ¿La, la señora? La, las dos. La loquita tiene... La periojinta tiene, creo que 15. Y después oh, sí, la, sí. la patas abiertas tiene 38. Sí, las patas abiertas... 
perras, agárrate sí. unas muchachas que se vayan y se las putien ahora sí. Es que eso de amenazar o decir te voy a matar, te voy a apuñalar, eso da miedo. Yo no, yo no podría dormir a gusto. Uno no puede vivir bien. No, pues no. por eso yo ya no vivo allá, yo me salí. Wow. Ya te yo me salí. Mira, fíjate, no, sí, todo lo que hacen ellos hasta... Um, hace efecto en tu vida que tú ni estás haciendo nada, nomás no, proteger tu pues familia. Pues es que yo le dije, yo le dije a mi papá, le dije, arréglate con esa vieja, esa vieja no está bien para ti, uh -huh. pero como dice que según hace feliz y ya tiene un hijo con ella, pues ya no la puede dejar. Ya valió madre, ya lo enloqueó ahora sí. No, sí. Pues honestamente, sí. pues estás haciendo bien por irte, honestamente. Ya. Yeah. Y pero no, también pues tu papá sí, tiene que dar a Dios, tu ¿eh? lado también. La no verdad, manches. igual, con uh -huh. todo respeto, la está cagando tu papá, porque como tu, o sea, está, tuvo un hijo y se respeta, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que entender uh -huh. que la familia, la familia, la familia, los hijos son los eso primeros. Eso es lo que le dije, uh -huh. eso es lo que le dije, pero cuando yo le dije eso, que tus dos hijos ya se salieron de la casa, uh -huh. el más grande y yo. Y yo le dije, por estar con esa vieja, por andar escogiendo todos esos rumbos para allá, vas a perder a toda tu familia. Uh -huh. Y yo le dije, ya no más tienes a un chiquito. Ese chiquito ya no le gusta a tu pinche vieja. Entonces después cuando ya te deje, a ver, a ver con quién vas a quedar. Es Porque que esa vieja, no. la verdad, no 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 está bien para él. Su familia está no, bien loca. Pues su papá no, va a estar no. bien, va a quedar bien, pues. ya él, Es que ya perdió todo él. Ya no tiene su, a su esposa, ya ella se fue. Yeah. Ya, ya la verdad no tiene nada. Ya se nada. quedó solo. No, 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 pues con mi mamá, pues ella ya no la tiene. ¿Y no, tú, como y, quería y, mi mamá. ¿Y tu propia mamá ¿Eh? sabe de todo eso también? No, pues ella falleció. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, my sí, God. No, okay. wow. Es que es algo muy traumante porque uno, como que esa niña, quién sabe por qué tanto coraje de tener, pero ya al decir que tu papá me está tocando o que este me está tocando, esos son ya cosas muy grandes. That's like, es que, es es que tiene problemas, hija, ti. Ajá. Sí, tienen problemas, pero las, los problemas que tienen los los pasan por un lado, los pisetean, pero no quieren hacer nada. Ajá. Muchas veces le he dicho, le, le, ay, perdón, le he dicho la, a las patas abiertas de que se arregle con sus hijas, haga algo. Es que no, tienen son problemas detrás de problemas, y tati, no, son sucias, no se bañan, apestan bien feo, siempre andan hablando por cosas. Ya tienen un montón de niñas de la escuela porque tienen un van, están en un torneo de en un equipo de, de fútbol. Ajá. Y esas niñas, la razón por qué le puse pirujientes es porque cada rato anda con vato, con vato, con vato, eh. con vato. Porque mm. cada rato se anda de arrimada, patas abiertas, echándose con, con puros hombres que ni siquiera las quieren. Y después cuando ya le dicen, échate para allá, yo no te quiero, estás bien fea, pues, las morras las quieren agarrar a ellas. Yeah. Entonces tienen un de mi escuela, ellas tienen un montón de personas que las quieren partir su hocico. Mm. Y Pártelo yo ya le madre. dije a, la, a, su, a su mamá, mm -hmm. ya le dije a su mamá que se que se cuide porque en un lado las, las niñas de acá están bien locas la verdad le van a dar un putazo cualquier día por andar abriendo los hijos a lo me, puro menso sí. pero tú ya no no sí. los has visto ni nada a ellas ya no las has visto pues ayer estuve allá ayer ayer fui pero yo me fui rapidito ya me fui y a es, la mejor y es hasta... un poco difícil sí. también porque las, la la pirujienta tiene 15 años like, uh -huh. no es algo que puedes ir a las autor, autoridades y decir algo verdad no, ya Jorge, no. ¿O sí yo creo puedes? que sí puedes. O, o, sea, o sea, ¿cómo te pueden ayudar? Pero es como, tan, tampoco quieres, porque tampoco quieres a poner a tu papá en riesgo. Y si, y si, uh -huh. y, y, y si les llamas día a las policías, ni sabes qué van a decir las, las muchachitas. A lo mejor dicen algo de tu papá y pones a tu papá no, en sí, riesgo es que ellas, también. Ellas se ponen en el equipo, porque su, su prima, su prima ya vive allí. Y la otra vez querían hacer eso a su papá, al papá de la de su prima, porque se pusieron en equipo de que según que, diciendo que según las andaba tocando y que That's según crazy. las andaba haciendo todo eso. No, tu papá se tiene que pero, salir de ahí. Tu papá no se va a decir, no se sale, se va a salir, pero cuando lo tenga la policía, llevárselo al bote. ¿Por qué? Porque es lo van... que le dije. Ajá. Eh, tiene que es hacer que algo, tiene que hacer algo por él mismo. No es posible estar tan enculado con alguien y perder toda tu familia y no saber el daño que puede hacerle. Es esa que él niña. tiene miedo, él tiene miedo y él se, él se, él se ciega con el miedo porque él, pues ya perdió a mi mamá. Uh -huh. Es algo que, eh, por eso tiene mucho enojo con, conmigo porque yo sí. siempre le he dicho a, a la, ay, pero, perdón, a las patas abiertas con, siempre le he dicho que él nunca la ha querido, que siempre ha querido a mi mamá, que él nomás se fue con ella por pues porque pues nomás, estaba solo, eh. pues, uh -huh. ajá, y eh. pues él tiene miedo de que vaya a perder toda su familia, y él dice que si, que si se separa de esta patas abierta, uh -huh. se pues va a perder a su hija, y pues uh -huh. yo pienso que por eso es la razón que, 
Ese no trauma de tu papá, pues no quiere estar solo, sí. no quiere estar solo, uh -huh. pero él tiene que entender que tiene a sus hijos, y así es que tiene a sus hijos, tiene a su familia todavía, a lo mejor sí. desafortunadamente no está tu mamá, pero están ustedes, you know, uh -huh. él tiene que entender sí. eso, wow. Wow, y ellos, ellas van, eh, digo, la, la pirujenta va a la escuela contigo. No, 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 ellas son juntos, por eso están raritas. Mm. Sí, son mm. juntos. No están desasociando ni nada a juntarte con ellas porque esas son capaces de que si un día hasta, no sé, se les mete hasta el demonio en la cabeza y Dios no lo quiera, les haga algo. No, por eso yo nunca, pues por eso ya no vivo con ellas. Yo, yo sí, no, nunca. Sí, retírate. No. no, hombre. Sí. Pura madre, bloqueala, quítala de todo, no te acerques. Ya se te No, papá pues la otra vez andaba, andaba colgando por mi Instagram. Ajá. No manches. Yo le dije, yo cuando, cuando encontré eso, que porque puse una historia. Y Ajá. después decía que su, su username ahí, yo le yo salí y yo le dije, ¿por qué andas haciendo esto? ¿Por qué te andas metiendo por donde no te pertenece? Y después, no, el, el no la pelea que tuvimos por eso. Damn, es que no, crazy. No, yo no podría dormir a gusto sabiendo que no, alguien me quiera matar, fuck no, that. Oh, y, y no nomás eso, pero estar en relaciones con tu propio padre. Uh -huh. Qué locura, en serio que esto es algo muy, muy... Me, me daría mucho miedo o si sea, a mí me pasaría esto. La verdad que I would be very scared, dude. Yeah. Like, fuck that, my life, you know. Y aparte de eso, sí como que da agüite porque tú miras a tu papá y dices como, ¿cómo no puedes abrir los ojos? You know, abre los ojos, uh -huh. mira lo que estás haciendo uh -huh. o lo que... Te, en el pedo que te estás metiendo. Pero ojalá sí. esa muchacha nunca vaya a hacer una mensada. Ojalá nunca los vaya a dañar a ustedes y a nadie porque that is fucking yeah. crazy. No, 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 uh -huh. no puedes andar arrimándote con gente así porque... Al fin del día va a ser la voz de esa muchachita contra la tuya y honestamente en esta vida, pues, es muy difícil. Ganarle a las uh -huh. niñas. Yeah, that really uh -huh. is, it's really how it is. No, la verdad que te agradezco por compartir esta historia con nosotros. ¿Hay algo más que gustarías comentarnos antes de terminar la llamada? No, pues, nomás que mucho gusto, la verdad que tú, la verdad me haces muy... No sé, eres una inspiración muy grande para mí, la verdad. Ay, thank you. Qué no, bueno. thank you, thank sí. you. Te agradezco por tomar el tiempo de tu día en compartir esto con nosotros. Cuídate mucho, te mando un abrazo muy grande y este ponte al pendiente porque sí. va a salir el episodio ahí para que mires todos los comentarios que opine la gente. ¿eh? Sí. Ah. Para lo que quieras, aquí estamos. Uh, ok, pues. Ándale, right. okay, bye. Gracias. No te... Uh. He was like, this guy. Listen, I'm all being nice. Dude, that's fucking insane. That Imagínate. Is wild. And it's so fucked up because mm -hmm. he loses his family. Ya, ya casi yo creo que no ve a su papá tanto. Eh, yo no estuviera tan asustado de, oh, me va a hacer algo, no sé, bla, bla, bla. Pero decir, esta muchacha está cerca de mi papá. ¿Qué puede ser? ¿Qué puede...? ¿Cómo va a soltar la lengua a ella con él? Ya, yeah, no, seriously. ¿Y se pone en riesgo su papá? Oh, yeah. Yo conozco un muchacho que él... You know how, like, younger girls nowadays look older yeah. than how they look? Yeah. There was a girl que tenía 14 años, but she told him she was 18. Y él tenía, creo que como 22 años. This was a while ago. Anyways, se metió con ella. She got pregnant. Y como era una niña y se asustó. Mm -hmm. She started saying that he did stuff to her. Damn. But obviously it was a lie. Like, she wanted to, but she lied about her yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, she was scared. Long story short, he's going to be in jail for the rest of his life. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane how, like, you know, pueden meter en pro. Claro que pasa la vida real. It does happen, you yeah. know. And that's, like, a very sensitive topic. Y claro que pasa. It happens. Like, que pasa, pasa. And it's sad because it's more common than usual and it shouldn't be. But there's times where girls probably get scared and they lie and they don't realize the pedos que pueden meter a los, a los muchachas, muchachos. They don't realize that. Yeah. How they can not only ruin their lives, but their families with a false accusation, you know? That's a mí, a mí me fascina como una muchachita de 15 años mm -hmm. o de 11 años, como andaba diciendo Jorge, mm -hmm. que puede andar diciendo cosas en los diarios de... Te voy a matar con la almohada Puñaladas. y te voy a dar puñetazos. Diez, diez puñeladas. Y le hago a tu más. hermana y luego que tu hermano. Y que like, le voy a dar hasta el Como una muchachita de 11, 11 años. 15 años puede andar pensando en cosas así. Necesitan ayuda. Yeah. Pero uno nunca sabe, honestly. Maybe she's going through, she went through something that we don't know. For sure. I mean, tiene que yeah. ser algo. Algo. Because I don't think you just grow up like thinking, pero, I want to stab someone. Yeah, pero es muy extremo. That's to the extreme. These, an 11 year old saying, I'm going to stab you until I take out your heart. That's insane. That y, is y crazy. Y luego la otra parte es que la mamá no dice nada. 
porque es su hija. La va a defender. Pero, Pero ya... si tú tenías una hija que tenía 11 años Hell no. y a ti te dijeron que andaba escribiendo cosas así, ¿qué vas a decir tú? Con el cinto, amigo. Así como me daban a mí. No, well, Pero that's just after, it's cause ¿algo how can't necesita you... ayuda? Oh, yeah. No, seriously, take her to a therapist. Take her to get treated. You're talking about wanting to kill someone. That's not being okay mentally. What you know, would you, you know? do if you were... Like, would you go to the Honestly, cops? Honestly, that's a good question, dude. If I was... And I had seen that diary and everything... I'd grab that diary with gloves, dude, so they can see the way yes. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And I'd take it to the cops. And I'd like be like, I'm my scared. life is in danger. Yeah. And you know what, dude? Sometimes I feel like people need to take care of themselves, even though, like, okay, the dad loves the lady. That's the lady's daughter. But that's your life. If my dad, if I was in the same situation, I'd take the diary. And I'd want that girl in jail or something. I cannot be yeah, on risk like of like here, having, I'm not yeah. asking you to, like, take her mm -hmm. to jail or a juvenile hall. But do something but with But, like, her. do something or, like, tell this or, like, you know, tell the mother something, you yeah. know, because I'm scared. But, like, the fact that he had to move out, he se fue de la casa. And no the fact that his dad papá. didn't do something. Y el hermano también se tuvo que ir. That's fucked up. Pero, dude, Jorge, si estás mirando esto, te mandamos un abrazo muy grande. Gracias y por este, compartir. That's fucking insane, dude. Pues la neta que estoy muy, muy agradecida yeah, que estás aquí you. presente con nosotros. No, we need a part two with Sebas because there's just so much. This is the thing. The times I've been, we need to get Josh on here too, but yeah. the times that we've done episodes yeah. together, el It pinche, can go on and on. la pinche tarjeta del sim de la cámara va a explotar ahorita. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, la neta no, que for sharing so many things with us and for being here and just making this episode Awesome. No, That's one of my favorite episodes. Thank you Top so much. Tier. I appreciate so that. If you guys haven't checked out La Plática, I highly, highly recommend you guys to do so. I'll leave it in the description down below so you guys can go and subscribe. Check it out. They have amazing content. Also, stay tuned for next week's episode. Do not leave without liking, subscribing, commenting, and Don't reviewing leave. on Spotify. We're available on Spotify and YouTube. And we we'll see you guys on next week's episode. Gracias, Tati. Thank Muchas you, gracias. Sebas. Bye.